Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam here from WubDub Collabs, and now uh, today I'm going to teach you a quick tutorial on how to do uh, Final Cut Pro X effects, such as color correction, uh, some of that, some optical flares, uh, get how to get a Twixter-like effect, and also, uh, if you haven't seen my latest quickie number five, how to get that small animation in my scope. Now, once Final Cut Pro X opens up, here we go. Uh, I don't know if this works with any uh, Sony Vegas, but I know it works in After Effects because you're going to need uh, different blend types for uh, optical flares and stuff. So right now, here's my... Uh, oh, God, this happens every single time. It's like a... I don't even know. So what we're going to do... We're just going to create a new project. How about that? New project... Uh, optical tutorial. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm gonna drag in a clip. Uh, how about we do this one? Also, guys, uh, I'm gonna be making a montage uh, with some edits in it after I hit 10 quickies. So that's going to be by Mark. Uh, what I like to do with Final Cut Pro is to zoom in on your timeline so you get a more precise precise. Time. So what I do is first I detach audio so that you can, and I usually, I delete it. And how to beat sync is I uh, see these little, like, layer those little sp uh, spikes in audio, that means that an intervention shot went off or something loud happened. So, so it happens about right there. So we're going to press B for blade and we're going to line it up with the timeline. So we're going to cut it. And we're going to cut it right there. And then we're going to cut this one right here. And then we're going to cut that one about there. Okay. So now when we watch the whole thing with uh, this missing, you'll see. There's no sound right now, but then when he throws the throwing knife and... So that's just a quick little tutorial on how to do beat syncs, and then you separate what you don't want and what you do want. And then usually, uh, I don't know how, but just it's kind of like the luck of the draw kind of thing. It's just uh, you kind of want to match them up with uh, whatever the beat is in the uh, audio of a song. So right now we're going to detach the audio, and we're going to get rid of it. So right now we have a blank thing right now. So what I'm going to teach you first how to do is uh, is sort of a twixter like effect. So we're going to go right here and he's going to zoom in and get this first guy right now. Right there. So right there when he starts coming out of the scope we're going to mark it. B for blade. We're going to cut it and then stop there. So now we're going to highlight it, go over to here, and you want to hold it down and go to slow 25%. It's going to slow down, and then this orange bar up here is really important. That means that it hasn't rendered, so as you can see, it's not rendered yet. So it, it just sort of skipped around right there. So just click right here if you want to see the render process. And this goes fairly quickly. Uh, so yeah. And then click on that. Then go down to video quality, optical flow. And you'll see analyzing for optical flow right here. And this one usually takes a little bit of a longer time. So I'm going to probably speed this up. Or actually, no, I'm just going to pause it. How about that? Uh, actually, never mind. I'm just going to wait it out. It's almost at halfway. Um, so yeah, and then also color correction. Uh, I had one request for color correction in uh, number four, and personally, I loved number four. That was one of my favorite ones. I thought the beat sync went really well, 
and everything kind of went my way. I know these aren't my clips, but uh, if I get requests, then I'm definitely going to do them, there's no doubt. So right now, if we play it, he hits it, and then it flows in, just like that. And it's a really nice effect, right there, as you can see. It's kind of like a Twixter effect. And if you slow it down even more, then it may get a little bit skippy because it's just too slow. And uh, the transcoding won't pick up. But uh, if you, I usually use 25% because it just looks nice. So that's that. And then for color correction on number 4, what I did is you go to this little tab right here, Effects. You're going to go down to Looks. And then you're going to go down here to Heat Wave. Heat wave is a really nice effect. Also, teal and orange is a nice one. Uh, I think I used that in three, I think. And uh, I'll have a link to the ones that I mentioned in the description. So right now we're going to drag the heat wave effect right onto there. And see, the color correction immediately changed. To so, yeah. Now, flares. Uh, you can download flares off the internet. I'm going to have a link in the description to these. They look like this. Uh, they look pretty good, actually. And what they do is they just add, just, I don't even know what they add, really. Uh, to me, they just, it makes everything look better. It makes something look smoother. It may, some people feel free to disagree. But how you're going to do this, you want to take a flare, uh, also a moving one or a still frame flare. You want to take it and you want to grab it in. And you want to match it up uh, decently well with where your Twixter starts. And as you can see, if we play it, it just, boom, interrupts it. Like, that was stupid. Why'd you do that? So what you're going to do is you want to select it. You're going to get all these options over here. Make sure you're on video. You're going to scroll all the way to the down. And you want to go to blend mode, screen. And boom, now the flare is on the screen. And what that does is it takes away the black. It matches colors, gets rid of the uh, uh, the outlier, pretty much, which is the black and keeps in the bright colors and this is gonna render out uh... and as you can see the flare goes on almost like forever so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut it and yeah get rid of that so there we go uh... looks a lot better and so right now we've got our optical flow our uh... slow-mo color correction and flares so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do uh, the big boom and then we're gonna do uh, video effects and lastly we're gonna do this little animation right here right there yeah we're gonna teach you how to do that uh, and this is this just finished so as we can see it looks really nice it definitely adds something I don't know what it is to it but it to me it looks nice so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do the big boom effect and here we go this is it that's our big boom effect and there's no blending for this there's none of that crap so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down scroll down or not uh, I'm just gonna put it there for now uh, put it there, see how this matches up. Yeah, that was bad. Um, hits him now. Right, right, wait, 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 right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this. Get rid of this excess audio. And we're going to find where he hit some. Right there. Did you really hit him right there? Wow. And we're going to match this up to where it's at. So if I'm if this time's right, then it's going to look nice. Yeah. Uh, and if you want to get a more amplified sound, just turn up the volume. And usually I have an intervention shot in the background to uh, give more sound to it, but I didn't do that for now. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. Um, now we're going to do video effects. Uh, 
what you're going to do is you're going to stay on this effects tab, go to distortion, and you're going to scroll up. It's on the first thing, and it's called earthquake. So, we're going to drag this here. It's going to render. Usually, the earthquake effect doesn't take that long to render. If I remember correctly, it doesn't take that long to render. And it just lagged like crazy. So, we play it through. And the screen shaking and doing everything and everywhere. So yeah. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take that frame right there. And we're going to go up to share. And save current frame. Right now we're just going to cut this down. Also the brackets are uh, good to use. And we're going to break it down to like there. I think. Like. Actually that's a bit too long. Uh there yeah okay uh, trust me it looks a lot better with like sound and everything but what we're gonna do is you're gonna download something like this off the internet and you're just gonna drag it right on here drag it there it's gonna go up cuz you know it's messy it's really messy uh, and you're gonna narrow it down to I don't even remember how oh yeah that's about right that's about right uh again screen okay screen I'm actually gonna move this window up a bit that's easier and now to adjust where this is just hit this button right here as a crop and you're gonna center it on the scope like this like that so this is gonna render out like it's really annoying and okay yeah it's done and this is what our final product looks like whoops here let me start from the beginning I don't know why I just do so you've got no audio uh, you can, this is where like you add in a song Kisses his first throwing knife, misses, misses, whoop, just like that. And this edged on for a bit too long. I just realized that. Uh, like that. Let's see how that works out. Just like that. Uh, that's a pretty rough edit right there. Like as you can see, uh, he zoomed in and stuff, and it it just looks a lot better when there's color correction and all of it. But, uh, yeah, that's been a Wubbed Up Collab tutorial on Final Cut Pro X. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, I'm gonna... Well, actually, I have nothing really to say. Besides, uh, hopefully, Montage will be coming. And, yeah, uh, just keep watching. Uh, like it if you liked it. If you don't, uh, it would really suck if you disliked it. Because, well, no one really likes a dislike. But, anyway, uh, besides that, I'm out, guys. See you later.